so I just realized it's been a while I made like a real self-talk video I call this a self-talk video you know about uh, what we have been going through and the things that I have been noticing around myself and my son and I think maybe my family in general so I realized that lately I have been extremely, extremely fascinated by um, the things that my two-year-old uh, daughter has been doing, the things she's been doing. Like, I don't know for what reason, but I keep, like, I feel so impressed when I see her, you know, doing stuff by herself, um, you know, trying to to try new words, you know making sentences saying words that you would be like where does she get those words from like how does she pick up so fast you know everything she does just seems to like <laughs> like make me feel like wow every time i'm just like wow you know and we're going out on the street she's pointing she's like mom look what's that and she's asking questions she's you know just basically what a normal two-year-old would do but then you wonder why am i fascinated why am i be why is this suddenly impressing me you know and it's not like um <laughs> she's my first or it's not like she's the only neurotypical child that i have but i think because when i had my daughter and my first daughter, uh, she's nine, and she's not on the set spectrum. She is a neurotypical child, and um, I guess I didn't really understand the, the value or the importance of the things that, you know, her, her development, how important those milestones were, you know. I just felt like, well, it's just a normal thing, and everything she did, she did never, never, like, impressed me i was just like yeah it's expected of her yes that's what she's supposed to do yeah you know i don't know if anyone is uh, kind of kind of relate to what i'm saying um but when i had my son and he was diagnosed with autism i realized that um i had to do so much to get him to you know to uh, attain his milestones you know i had to do a lot of follow-up i realized that there's so much more to just being a no um you know to just raising a child there's so much more that the child also has to you know uh, a, a parent has to you know see and uh, appreciate yeah uh, appreciate about our children but i didn't appreciate those things with my daughter with my first daughter and then with my son, when my son, uh, you know, with my son on the spectrum and I'm like, okay, yeah. So now I began to really value those things. And I'm like, wow. So all those things she did that I never really appreciated that I thought, well, you know, I took for granted. Now um, I have to work so hard to get them with my son. And now with my little one, I guess that is why everything is like fascinating to me now because oh, oh, she's doing so much and I, I kind of appreciate it so, so much. I don't think people that have, you know, when you have neurotypical kids, you know, uh, you don't appreciate these things. That's just what I'm trying to say. You don't have, you don't appreci appreciate these things when they happen. You don't appreciate the milestones. You don't appreciate, uh, you know, the the efforts that our your children our ch our children are making you know as they grow, but I begin to see it more with my with my little one now, and I'm appreciating every single milestone that she's checking off, and the fact that she's checking she's even checking it off like faster than you know uh, I expected, and she's just you know everything is just like I. I can't even say I can't even take credit for anything that she's doing, but she's just picking up so much. Um, she's learning so so fast. She's you know doing so many things, trying to be really independent. At she's just two years and I think five or six months, and she's so independent and she's doing so many things that I am almost tempted to you know start comparing her with her brother. Almost tempted, but no, I shouldn't compare them because they are different. Their journeys are different. 
I can only hope that you know um, my son, like my husband was saying yesterday, when my 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 little one said something, she made like a full sentence, like he was like uh, on the phone with her, and he asked, "Where's uh, where's your brother?" And she said, "He's reading a book," and he was really impressed, like. So he said, well, I've, since um, <laughs> since Khalil is not talking, his sister is talking and probably she'll be able to, you know, um, motivate him, impress him, you know, push him, um, you know, um, you know, encourage him to kind of, you know, make more efforts at least um, based on his level where we are right now. Um, another thing that I also realized now um Lately, yes, I have been thinking about that. And, you know, while also looking at my two-year-old, I began to think about those things that I really missed out with my son. I I really missed out this stage. You know, this was actually the same age we got his diagnosis. I missed out the, the milestones that he missed as a two-year-old up to, you know, throughout his toddler age. I missed out on so many of those things, you know, um, like I say, when I go out with my daughter and she's like, you know, she's pointing, we didn't have that. And, you know, she's saying, calling my attention uh, my attention to stuff, so we didn't have that, you know. She's trying to, to, to pick up stuff, she's trying to put in stuff, she's trying to put in puzzles, she's trying to build bricks, she's trying to, always trying to make friends, you know. She's um, picking, so interested in, you know, playing with people, playing with toys. She, you know, we didn't have the, all those things with my son. And I think looking back and seeing all those things, uh, it kind, kind of make me, you know, uh, like I said, appreciate our journey more. Um, you know, you know, um, as a Muslim, we believe that everything happens uh, by the will and the destiny, uh, destiny of um, of Allah, the God Almighty, and this is just His own Allah's way of saying that. Okay, yes, so this is it. You know, you've <laughs> have given you a test of every single one. You have an, a neurotypical uh, daughter you didn't appreciate, and then you now you now have have a son on the autism spectrum and then to teach you to appreciate those things that you didn't actually appreciate in the beginning and now you have this two-year-old that is showing you you know to really see what you know you have missed out you know <laughs> i don't know how to to to, to explain but i don't I, i'm sure there's someone that can relate to what i'm feeling right now someone that can relate to these things and you know it's just something that I thought, let me just share it uh, with people, you know, share it. I'm sure, like I said, I know someone can relate to what I'm saying, but the main point is that um, in every time in our lives, we go through things, we, we feel like there are certain things happening in our lives, but everything is uh, des designed and mm, pre-designed and destined to happen as it is expected to, and we should just, you know, try to accept things as they are so i hope this um resonates with someone i hope um <laughs> yes like i said my self-talk is kind of um you know um touches someone and i will be looking out for comments and see what you have to say about this session thank you for for joining Bye.